Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, my name is Ryan Suarez. I'm here at the Government Center Human Resources Building. and We're at a public workshop with uh, the Collier Area Transit Team. Uh, today, we're talking service changes. Uh, we've been working with staff over the last uh, four months, uh, talking about potential changes uh, to the CAT fixed route service. Uh, that's the green bus that you see on the road every day. And um, I'm going to go in, go through a few details. What is a comprehensive operations analysis? Uh, what are the objectives of the study, what we've done so far, um, and then we're going to get into those changes. There is an opportunity to provide feedback and ask questions uh, for anyone who's on um, the virtual call right now. And if you want to access a survey tool that we have, there's a, a few web links that I'll share uh, at the end of this presentation. So let's switch now to the presentation. And we got a big word here, comprehensive operations analysis. So what is that? For everyone that's on the phone, we got uh, some simple terms here to explain what a, what a COA is. Uh, a thorough evaluation of transit services. And this is unlike some other uh, planning exercises that um, people are familiar with because we do delve into the details. We go in stop by stop. Uh, sometimes by time of day to understand what's going on out on the road. Why do we do that? Uh, we want to focus on efficiency. We want to make sure that we're providing service to the right areas. And if there are any unproductive areas or, uh, of the service area or any unproductive uh, locations on some of our bus routes, we want to be able to reallocate those resources to areas that we um, know are going to provide a better opportunity and also be more productive, get us more ridership. If we're gonna summarize this in a nutshell, really, there's two key objectives. Because they're short, um, they're minor modifications in some cases, uh, they are considered short-term uh, modifications. And again, we're focusing on operational improvements. So this excludes large investments, such as large investments in technology, uh, capital, infrastructure, and a very important component of a, of a COA is maintaining um, a cost neutral approach. So what does that mean? Uh, no new money or just a minimal amount of new investment required. And a lot of what happens is because we're reallocating resources from um, some other areas of the service uh, to more productive areas, we can maintain that zero sum in terms of new service hours and in terms of new budget. So in a nutshell, what can we do in the next few years within that existing operating budget. I'm sure there's some questions here, but I would like everyone to hold on to those because we will have some Q&A at the end of the presentation. Um, but right now, I'm gonna walk through all the service changes that we've got proposed. And at the end, like I said, we need you to tell us uh, what you think. Are you in favor? Are you not in favor? Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? So, um, the service changes are organized into uh, three different categories. One, improvements in frequency. And we've got graphics for each one of these on the following slides. So one, improvements in frequency. Two, consolidation of services. And then three, realignment. So there are some routes that are, that are targeted for, uh, for realignment. So let's, uh, let's get to the next slide and we'll talk about those services that are slated or proposed for enhanced frequency. So on the graphic, on your left-hand side, you'll see what's out there on the road today, existing service. And to the right is the proposition, what's proposed uh, to be changed. And we've got these color-coded and these do match the existing fixed route schedules that are published. The color scheme that's in, on the existing fixed route schedules um, that CAT uh, publishes, puts out into the public eye on the website, et cetera. Um, Two main arterial routes, uh, the Route 11 and the Route 12. The proposal here is to get them to 60 minutes all day long. Right now, um, we do have some times of the day where the Route 11 operates at 30 minutes. It's a few trips in the morning and one or two trips in the afternoon. The proposal is to get that down to 60 minutes all day long. Same thing uh, for the Route 12. Moving down US 41 to the Route 24, um, we've got a, a route that has an odd um, cycle. 
in an odd frequency. It's not consistent uh, throughout the day. The idea here is to put another bus on that service. So you'd have two buses in operation. And there's two options, and this is important. The first option connects it from the government center down to the Walmart on Collier Boulevard. And with that service, there'll be a return trip back to government center with two buses. We can get that down to every 30 minutes. And what's uh, worthwhile about that particular change is that we have connections at the government center that would be timed with the 60 minute frequency that's proposed for the Route 11 and the Route 12. The second option for the Route 24 would be to maintain the extension all the way to 6L Farm Road. Um, with another bus, we think we can do that on a frequency where the bus would operate every 45 minutes. Now the timing with the buses uh, from the 11 and the 12 would be a little bit off, um, but in order to provide service out to 6L Farm, that would be the option with the service that's proposed uh, and available. The other frequency enhancement happens to the Route 15. We know that Golden Gate, there's a lot of activity coming out of Golden Gate and going to the government center and folks from that area are being distributed throughout the service area uh, via the connections that are available at the government center. Um, the enhancement will get us to 60. There is perhaps something that we need to take a further look at, perhaps get that down to 45. If that happens, then the duplicative service on the 16 uh, on Radio Road would be moved uh, to Davis Boulevard. And then we'd be able to provide uh, more broad service coverage on Davis Boulevard, which doesn't have any service today. Consolidation. So we got groupings of, of routes here. And again, you have the existing on the left, the proposed on the right. And what you see in the proposal is a color scheme that combines the different routes that are combined. For example, we'll start with the 17 and the 18, which operate US 41, the south part of the service area. US 41, Rattlesnake Hammock and Collier Boulevard. Um, we would combine those two routes. Given the increased service and frequency on the Route 24, we could remove uh, the existing 18 and 17 service off of US 41, combine it, and that service would operate between Government Center and on Rattlesnake Hammock to Collier Boulevard and to the Walmart and pick up Freedom Square, the public's location on US 41 in Collier. Back to the uh, 20 and the 26. These routes, um, in all actuality, this is one bus, the same bus that operates on both of these services throughout the day. We'll combine these with some modifications to the alignment off of Santa Bar uh, Barbara, um, directed on Pine Ridge out back to Collier and into the Golden Gate Community Center. The other combination is between the 19 and the 28. The distinction right now between these two routes is the operation into Ave Maria. The combination would just put these buses, uh, these two routes together on the same service line with select trips still going into Ave Maria at certain times of the day. And then we've got the remainder of the routes um, that are proposed for realignment. Um, the Route 27, let's start at the North County, Immokalee Road. There's not a lot of activity on Collier Boulevard, north of Pine Ridge. Um, and also what we've found, and this is from riders and also from operators, um, there's a lot of folks who are heading south from Immokalee to government center to make connections. Um, and then they shoot back north, either on the 11 or the 12 uh, to get to the north part of, uh, of Naples. Um, this scenario would assist those folks from having to deviate all the way south to government center and instead would take them across uh, Immokalee Road to points to the north part of the county. The Route 25. Route 25, there's uh, some minor deviations, modifications. It would still continue uh, to connect into the Golden Gate Community Center, but in lieu of getting up, in lieu of operation on Goodlit Frank, it would uh, continue past the Coastland Center uh, and up US 41, and then back to the transfer point on Pine Ridge and, uh, and Goodlit Frank. The connection to Cat Ops and also to the Walmart would be removed 
And with that, we'd be able to get that service down to every 75 minutes, every hour and 15 minutes. The last realignment here on this is the route. Um, it's shown as the 120, but this is actually the 21, which operates on Marco Island. Um, the idea here is to provide midday service connections to the cat ops transfer facility. So that way workers in the midday can get back to cat ops connections, um, uh, specifically the 19, the new 1928 and head back into Immokalee instead of having to wait for that 121 service that really only goes out there uh, once in the morning and once in the later afternoon. So this is uh, probably one of the more complicated services that's out there on the road. And staff has worked uh, diligently to try to meet the need and also maintain a, a reasonable schedule. What we've heard from passengers and what we've heard from operators is that right now, this doesn't function as well as it could. Um, the resounding um, consensus is to move back to uh, the service alignment that existed before, which are counterclockwise and clockwise loops. Um, that cover all the same points uh, that are the same service area, the same destinations that are covered today would be picked up um, by the loops, uh, one in each direction. Right now we've got it shown as about 120 minutes uh, and looking at the old schedule, that schedule was at 90 minutes. So we're gonna take another look at this and see if we can get this, any, any, uh, this frequency down a little bit more in order to be consistent with perhaps a 90 minute schedule as opposed to a 120 minute schedule. Right now you see a 60 uh, with a star on there. The idea is to show that there will be a bus passing each point uh, throughout this loop route uh, every 60 minutes um, in one direction or the other. Again, like I said earlier, we want your feedback. There is a survey out there uh, where you can tell us again if uh, these are good or these are bad. Uh, the link is shown. If you do want more information, there's more information off the, off the CAT uh, website. The link is shown here. Thank you very much. I think we have one person, Mr. Fletcher. Thank you very much for your attendance, participation. Again, if you do have any comments, questions, even after we close today, uh, the links um, are on the website. Um, yeah, please fill out a survey. We'd appreciate it. Thank you very much.